Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gary Benton and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be going over a Dragoonity deck profile done by my friend Cody. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. And before we get started with this deck profile, in the description box below is a link to my Discord, so make sure to join that. I'm going to make Cody join the Discord as well once he figures out what it is. And then um, you can talk, we're going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! and a bunch of other cool stuff. So make sure to join that in below. But without further ado, my friend Cody is going to be talking about his Dragoonity deck profile. Alright, so I've been playing Dragoonity since they first came out. And have loved the deck. And I decided we need to play it again. So we're playing three Dragoonity Centus. And basically, it's just a really broken ducks. <laughs> then I play two Miss Latanes. A lot of people play three. It's it's kind of back and forth. Either you, most people either play three or they play none. <laughs> but I like that extra special summon, and it lets you get your level eights out easier. Then of course, still play triple ducks. Triple ducks is broken. Not only do you get to special summon or attach things from your graveyard, it also gains attack for every drag on the field. So not any minuses. Tra play triple phalanx. Super simple. If it's equipped to a monster, it can special summon itself. And it's a level 2 tune. And then we play cores which is basically just phalanx except he has one extra little thing you can only special summon dragon monsters for the rest of the turn or you can only synchro dragon monsters they can only be used for a synchro material of a dragonity monster which is fine it also can be treated as a level four and then i still do play the arma leviathans nobody plays these anymore but I was kind of kind of partial to the light and darkness dragon combo, which is not that great, but it's still heaps of fun. And if you've seen uh, Gara's other videos on my deck profiles, you'll notice I play most of my decks for fun and not to be competitive. Well, semi-competitive, but yeah, he's also still wins anyways at locals. Yeah, some games. I do a round average at locals. And then I'm playing one uh, one Ghost Ogre, one Ash Blossom, just because that's all I have available at the moment. Because everything else is getting played in other decks, and I don't want to tear into those decks. Of course, you're playing Dragoon, you got to play a Triple Ravine. It's the heart and soul of the deck. It searches, it dumps things in the graveyard. Like, this is great, especially if you have Light and Arcs in your hand, you can just ditch that and then that's where you want it anyway you want it in the graveyard so of course since we want ravine we play two terraforming and dragoonies draw power cards consonants all the all the tuners are eligible for this so you always get draws and you want those in the graveyard anyway it's good and we play three pot of desires not worried about banishing anything really in this deck you just want to get to pretty much anything as fast as you can. Then we play two Called by the Graves. Uh, just because it's Called by the Grave. And two Divine Lance. Uh, it's basically a free equip and then your monster still gains attack points. Uh, one Monster Reborn, just because it's Monster Reborn. And we play the Solemn Brigade. Oh man. One warning, two strikes, and a judgment. Yes, it's it's a common judgment. It's common judgment, it's not a ghost rare. Yep. And then Can't you know it. one one secret strike, one super strike, and one super <laughs> warning. It's <laughs> great. Nope. And then one goes and match. Uh, I'm supposed to I wanna play two, but I don't own a second one. <laughs> Apparently. I thought I did. But one is fine. There, everything is wind, so it's perfect. 
So we play three Fadrianas, pretty simple. Basically, you just make this and then re-equip Phalanx or Cores and then do it again. You really want Phalanx though, because Cores can only be used for Dragoonities. But you want Phalanx so you can go Crystal Wing. Because Crystal Wing is broken. Yeah. Then this is kind of like the new Vadriana. Not that good. And I don't even know how to say most of these names, to be honest with you. Uh, as Kellyon. Uh, this one, I imagine, is going to be much better in when we get the Link monster for Dragonities. Because it will help you spam the field better and better be able to use your extra monster card zones. And then we play some random Dragoonity Knights just because I have them and it gives you more options with your cores. And one Stardust, it's not a full extra deck, but it kind of gives you the, the base bones of what you need. Most importantly, you really just need these two guys. That's about it. All right, guys, so that is the Dragonity deck profile. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.